This is a mini lesson on perimeter area and volume labels. Now that you've been doing uh, some geometry problems for a while, <coughs> we're going to expect that you know the difference in your labels for each one of these different types of problems. They're very similar, but they're really not exactly the same. So this first problem over here on the left, we're going to try to find the perimeter of this shape, and I'm going to show you what the label should be for perimeter, okay? This side of this triangle is three inches. The perimeter is the rim of the shape, the outside edge. And so that's three, that's three, and that's three. We show our work, of course, by adding up those three numbers, or you can do three times three or three squared, which is equal to nine either way. And so my answer is going to be nine inches. I'm measuring an inch, an inch, an inch, that's three inches, another inch right here, another inch right here, another inch, another inch, another inch, and another inch. I'm measuring nine inches going around the shape. And these inches, I could cut this right here and take this line that goes around the outside edge and string it out to be a big long line like that. And this line would measure nine inches long. That's why I call that nine inches. All right, let's go to the second one. I'm gonna go ahead and write the answer here again nine inches on perimeter. Okay, how about area? The second one, we're gonna find the area of this rectangle. This side of the rectangle is six feet, this side is three feet, which means this is three and that's six, but we don't really even need to know that for the area, we're just talking about two sides, and we're figuring out, let's see if I can do this here. This is like that. My lines aren't very straight but hopefully you get the idea. Okay, this side you can see we've got one, two, three feet on that side, one, two, three, four, five, six feet on that side, and what we're really measuring is how many squares would fill up the inside of this shape. Okay, and how many squares would fill up the inside of the shape. If you went and counted all these, or if you just simply multiply six times three, you'll find out that it's 18. Now, is the answer 18 feet? No, because we can't cut this and make it into a big, long, straight line. We're actually counting how many squares are in there. So the answer is 18 square feet. And that little two after the feet means squared. And you are not, you, or you could write square feet like this. You are not allowed to write, write, the, write the two right there because that means the 18 is being squared. That's a no-no. The two has to be after the word feet or after the label feet in order for that to be correct. This is 18 square feet. Okay, the last one, this is volume. Oops, I thought I had these, those little lines shouldn't even be there anymore. Oh, I know what I did to mess that up. That's okay. Anyway, you get the idea. This is like a box here. And what we're measuring here, when we find the volume, of the shape is how many little tiny cubes would be inside, that's not a very good drawing, but how many cubes would be inside of this box? Hopefully you get the idea there. How many little cubes there, you could pile little blocks inside of this box basically. And so we're not measuring squares again, we're not measuring a line we're measuring cubes, how many cubes fit inside of this box. And the way we figure that out is, of course, doing four yards this way, three that way. That gives us 12 on the bottom layer. Down here, there's going to be 12. And then there's five high, so we're going to have five different levels going all the way up to the top. And 12 times 5 is equal to 60. So we do first 3 times 4 is 12, 5 times 5 is 60. And my answer is not. 60 yards. My answer is not 60 square yards. My answer is 60 cubic yards. And also, you can write it as cubic yards like that. Or actually, we don't even need the S on there. Yards. Or you can write, but you cannot write it with a little three right here because that's cubing the number 60, which means 60 times 60, and then take that answer and multiply that times 60. That's some gigantic number that has nothing to do with this problem. So you're not allowed to write that there. Okay, so now you should remember the difference in our labels on inches, square feet, cubic yards, perimeter. The answer is just whatever the label is. 
area, it's always going to be squared, and volume is always going to be cubed for your labels. Thanks for watching.